I was I was alone in my bedroom in my bed. I I felt silly watching them. You know, I didn't want to. I didn't want myself to care too much. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I was awake at six a.m. So I was like, okay, might as well watch them. I went to go like make a cup of tea in my kitchen and like stepped on a cockroach. And I was like, oh, this is New York City. That's a bad omen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> and then it, it was a live stream of the announcements, and it froze right before like my name would come <laughs> alphabetically in the category. It was like Alexander um, Jim and Jim Yanni was right, and I was like, and it froze, and I was like. H is after G, <laughs> and um, and then I started getting a lot of texts, and then Casey called me, and I didn't have his number in my phone, so I just let it <laughs> Who go. Who is? I did that one happen. <laughs> That's but, great though, because now you have his message forever. I know, I do. I did save it. Yeah, Bye. yeah, you were. Casey's the most amazing emotional person. What ever. did he say <laughs> on that message? Oh gosh, I could pull, probably pull it up, but no, it was you know, it's just so sweet, and it's. I feel like we've known each other for a long time and to like be originating one of his roles is such a dream. But uh, yeah, that's where I was and my roommate woke up and we screamed and it was amazing. And then, you know, it's been a kind of an insane dream ever since then. Yeah. Casey, you are an old hat at this Tony nomination stuff. Right. Um, did, does it, it must still give you a thrill though when you find out. It, it totally does. It totally does. You know, um, it's now I've been nominated 10 times um, I won for Book of Ornament as you know director. Uh, haven't won as choreographer yet, so fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed, everyone. <laughs> um, so hopefully that'll happen one day. Um, no, you know what? It does. It never gets old. You know, everyone wants that because also too, there's something about that that's you know, I was such a theater nerd growing up, and I watched the Tonys, and you know, it, it's it's like a childhood dream come true. You know, that's that's something. You know, I know people say you know words don't matter and this and that all the time, and lots of times they really don't, but. The ones that sort of you grew up with, it means something because you start you start like you know thinking about all the rest of the time in your life and like where you were then and you know we were we didn't have money you know we had a, a little bit of a tough time you know making it as as kids and with our family and um so to be here now is awesome totally awesome. What's the biggest misconception about being a Tony uh, winner or nominee? Misconception, like in what way? Well, like I've heard some people talk about the fact that, that um, you know, you expect that once you've won your Tony Award, you just, like, never heard for work again or, um, um, you know. Th yeah, I no, I I don't know. I, I, f for me, it's just about keeping it real as much as you can. You know what I mean? I kind of don't, I kind of don't think of it in that way. Or at least I don't feel like, oh, ha, ha. Now you know, I'm now I'm so special. Um, I just really like to just do the work. I mean, that's that's all it is for me, is to just keep working, because I think that's the best part of it. And the best part of it is the people you meet and getting to do these shows with people. And also getting to do shows with someone that you care about and you think is super talented for a second time or a third time or a tenth time. You know, look at Beth Level. She and I have known each other forever now, and we've done like 10 shows together. Yeah. And that's the best thing, because these these people end up being our families, you know, when our immediate families start passing away and, you know, we're far away from home or people's children leave, we're each other's family. So it's about taking care of those people and, and cherishing that. 